Have you been struggling with low views lately? If you're tired of seeing low reach on your reels while other people seem to go viral every week, then this is the video for you because I'm about to share five powerful strategies to skyrocket your reels views right now. And I'm not talking about the same old advice you're hearing over and over again, like using trending audio or adding relevant hashtags. Today I'm going to reveal five game-changing strategies that have worked exceptionally well for me and my clients in the past few months. And make sure to stick around until the end because I'm going to share the secret strategy for the easiest type of reel you can create in literally minutes and it's pretty much guaranteed to do well. I see a lot of big Instagrammers doing this and it works amazing for basically no effort. So I can't wait to share it with you. All right, so are you ready to transform your Reels game? Let's start with the first tip, which is one of the most important ones if you want to drastically increase your watch time, which will then result in a bigger reach. So you've probably seen Reels where people do their makeup or hair on camera while talking about something entirely unrelated. This is a psychological trick that engages our brains, making us want to watch the process until the end. We are wired to seek the dopamine hit that comes from seeing the final result or the big payoff at the end. But the payoff doesn't always have to be visual. Just saying wait until the end or writing it with text can create a sense of anticipation. Drop hints that something exciting is coming at the end of your reel and make it clear that there's a reward for watching until the end, whether it's learning something new, seeing something impressive or just experiencing a good life. Make sure that there's always something worth waiting for at the end of your reel. This could be a punchline, a surprise or a valuable piece of information. An example is one of my top performing reels where I share a long chat GPT prompt for creating a monthly social media calendar. This reel is mostly just me reading the super long and to be honest kind of boring prompt but it still got more than a million views because people want to see what chat GPT will come up with and they're wondering if the final result aka the content calendar will actually be good. So think of your reel like a story with a twist at the end. The journey you take your viewers on should be intriguing, but the destination, the payoff, should be worth the wait. For example, if you're cooking, start by showing the initial steps of recipe with the ingredients and preparations. As you go, taste the final dish without showing it completely and at the end, reveal the beautifully plated meal, giving the viewers the satisfaction of seeing the delicious result. Also, you can share the process of creating a product, such as handmade jewelry. You can start by showing up the design process and the initial crafting stages, then build the anticipation by highlighting the unique features and finally reveal the finished piece at the end. Some other ideas are packing your order or unboxing. You can also highlight a customer's transformation journey using your product or service. Or, for example, show a process of revamping your workspace. So try and actively think about how you can add a big payoff at the end for as many of your reels as possible. All right, so now you know the importance of a strong payoff, but if you combine it with this next tip effectively, your Reels views will go through the roof. So Adam Mozeri, who is the CEO of Instagram, recently announced that sends or shares are the most important metric on Instagram. So when people share your Reel with their friends, it significantly boosts your reach. So my second tip is to increase shareability on your Reels. But how do you create shareable Reels? First, make them relatable. When your audience feels personally connected to your content, they're more likely to share it. Think about the shared experiences or common themes related to your niche. For example, if your niche is fitness, create a Reel about the struggles of dragging yourself to go work out. We all definitely have been there. <laughs> I have to drag myself literally every time. So use humor, make it authentic and tap into common experiences. Everyone who's ever tried to hit the gym early can definitely relate to that. <laughs> so show real life relatable situations. If you're in a parenting niche, for example, a reel about the chaos of getting your kids ready for school will probably hit home with other parents. 
Also, try and participate in trendy challenges that are already relatable to your audience. And of course, if you want to make your reel even more shareable, don't forget to add a call to action at the end. It can be as simple as send this to a friend who needs to see this, or share this with someone that can relate. This simple nudge can significantly increase the likelihood of your content being shared. All right, so now that you know how to make your reels more shareable, let's move on to a strategy that all top content creators have been doing recently. I'm not sure why not many people are talking about this next tip because it's super effective. So a few months ago, I posted a reel where I printed out a piece of paper with a profile on it and shared some common Instagram bio mistakes most people make. So this reel turned out to be my top performing reel of all time. But what made it so successful? Well, it had a strong visual hook. It was different. It made people think, hmm, that's interesting. Let me check it out. It also served as a pattern interrupt. So people usually scroll through reels mindlessly and when something unexpected pops up, it grabs their attention. The first few seconds of your reel are crucial and if you don't grab that attention immediately, viewers will scroll past, which unfortunately means less views for you. So we've all heard of verbal hooks, but what catches the attention even more is a visual hook, something eye-catching or intriguing. So here are some examples of visual hooks. Unexpected scenes. So you can show something out of the ordinary. So for example, in a travel reel, instead of starting with a typical tourist spot, begin with a hidden gem. This unexpected scene intrigues viewers who are accustomed to seeing popular landmarks. You can also show unexpected actions or unique angles or perspectives. For example, use a unique camera angle or perspective to show something in a way people are not used to seeing. So, for example, if you're a chef, instead of the usual overhead shots or close-ups, start your reel with a camera placed inside the oven looking out. So, as you preheat the oven and prepare the ingredients, viewers get a unique, immersive view of your cooking process from the oven's perspective. This unexpected angle not only captures attention, but also adds a creative twist to a familiar cooking content, making it more engaging to your audience. So the visual hook can be anything visually compelling or surprising that makes the viewer curious enough to keep watching. Alright, so this next tip is essential for keeping your audience hooked from start to finish. Viewers' attention spans are notoriously short literally shorter than goldfish. So you have to make sure to make every second count. So skip the introductory fluff like, hey guys, what's up? Today I wanted to show you, no. Keep your content concise, packed with value and free from unnecessary fillers. To keep your viewers engaged, ensure your reels are fast paced and dynamic. Here are my tips to create fast paced reels. Quick cuts. Edit your reel with rapid transitions in between scenes. Avoid pauses. So eliminate any breaks or downtime in your footage. Maintain continuous action to hold your viewers' attention. And make sure that your clips are concise and that you deliver your message efficiently. So imagine a reel demonstrating a workout routine. So instead of a long segment of each exercise, showcase brief snippets of each movement. So by trimming out transitions and pauses, you'll create that dynamic and engaging pace. What you can also do to make your reels even more captivating is incorporating elements like closed captions, stickers, transitions and engaging music. These enhancements will further captivate your audience's attention and encourage them to watch your reels all the way through. Alright, so next is the game-changing strategy I mentioned at the beginning of the video. I call it the bandwagon strategy and it's one of the quickest, easiest and most effective ways to create engaging content. So you know how I mentioned my viral reel at the beginning of the video, the one where I scribbled on a piece of paper with an Instagram profile on it? Well, there were a few other creators that saw this reel and created reactions to it. Some literally just showed the video and their face watching next to it and wrote great stuff or great content in the caption, but some actually expressed their opinion. And all of these videos did super well. Most of them even got over 100,000 views. Crazy, right? So they leveraged content that is proven to go viral. 
because if it went viral on my account chances are that it will go viral on other accounts as well especially the ones that are in the same niche and have similar audiences so you can easily do this with Instagram sequence or remix feature. So I suggest finding a super viral video related to your niche and it has to have at least a million views or even better if it has a few million. So then click on the three dots and remix it if you want to show your reaction while the original video is playing on screen or sequence it if you want to comment at the end of the video. So this not only taps into the popularity of the original video but also adds to the variety of your content. The beauty of this method is that it doesn't require you to create content from scratch. You can build on the success of already popular reels and add your unique perspective or a reaction. So as a content creator or a business owner, just make sure that you pick the right reel that is relevant to your niche and make sure you add value to it. Your reaction should add something new. It could be your opinion, some additional information or a contrasting perspective. All right guys. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you found these tips helpful. Let me know which one you're going to try and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!